Brother Thomas, uh, where are you from? Yeah, so um, I was born in Michigan, but uh, I was born into a military family, and so we ended up moving all over the place. But uh, I spent all, most of the time that was either there in Michigan or in Northern Virginia, near Washington, D.C., where I graduated from high school. And then, uh, like I said, I ran away to California for 10 years for school. <laughs> so I went out, um, studied physics in undergraduate, went on to graduate school. Um, and while I was studying for my Ph.D. In, um, at Stanford is where I, I met the Dominicans. So the western province of the Dominicans runs the campus ministry there. Mm -hmm. And um, it was, a, it was a, a great opportunity. I mean, I had thought about the priesthood here and there, but hadn't really, you know, oh, that's something I'll get to later kind of thing. And so when I, when I got to graduate school, um, I just took, I was, began to take the time to, to think and to pray and sort of take my faith more seriously. Um, and in that prayer, the, the thought of the priesthood and the, and the vocation of the priesthood uh, came back and came back to my mind. And in particular, the example that I saw in the Dominicans, that I mean, many of the things that, that the brothers have, have been, been mentioning, you know, that um, the life of community, the, the life of, uh, of living together and praying together, the, the life of study and how that study is not just something, something nice to do, but it's, it's really integrated into our life and our, our life of prayer in particular. And so that, that, that idea that our study influences our prayer and that contemplation then leads to our preaching. And for myself, you know, my own studies of physics, you know, I was uh, looking at the, the smallest, most minute parts of matter and seeing just the, the beauty and the order and the structure all the way down there and to see, in a certain sense, God's hand working all the way down to the most minute parts of, uh, of, of the created order. And then to hear, you know, Dominicans talking about that idea of providence, that idea that God has this, this role in every aspect of reality, all the way down to the, to, to the deepest depths of matter, into our own lives, into our, our own, uh, uh, the, the way we act as human beings. And to see the, that, that, that acknowledgement and that love of God's providence, his, his providential role uh, in, in, in helping us and guiding us in the way that his grace moves in our lives and sort of through them see, being able to see that providence working in my own life. Mm. So um, with my, my family being more closer to the East Coast than the West Coast, I kind of made the jump back and, and, and have joined the, joined the Eastern Province and it's been a great joy to continue to experience and see that providence working out in so many ways. And what was the title of your dissertation? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to put me on the spot. <laughs> uh, so uh, it was Monte Carlo simulation of next generation particle cloud. Uh, sorry, Monte Carlo, uh, even I can't get it right. Um, <laughs> Monte Carlo simulation of, of, uh, of beyond the standard model collisions at next generation particle colliders. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You read that it's, one, Doug? Yeah. <laughs> I saw it on Amazon the other day. Yeah, yeah.